Hello everyone, it's Rob here with a gardening update. We got uh, peas and lots of them and tall ones. Let's give you some idea what's going on here. These uh, peas are about five foot two or three right now, some of them falling over. I'm gonna need more of a fence next year to do this right. Incredible. Uh, turn around, do a panoramic, and mixed in here with the grapes is more peas. One concern I have though is I'm not getting a lot of pollination here. I'm not exactly sure as to why, although I know we've been having difficulty with bees. I found lots of dead ones on the Highway 43, not far from where I work, just after corn was planted. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I don't think it is because you need bees for your garden. And the cold abbey patch. Just a quick update there. It's looking good. I got different varieties there. Your broccoli is flowering. I'm going to take the seeds from that. And the pepper plant that we wintered is still alive despite the abuse that it took. And the chard, more broccoli. And of course, chart over here. My wife is working away at the garden. You can see the digging. And a little special surprise for everyone. Now I know it's no big deal for you southerners, but up here in Ontario, growing sweet potatoes anywhere north of uh, Kitchener is um, apparently an impossibility. But we're going to give it a try. And that's looking pretty good. I'm optimistic. Lima beans over here, having mild success with them. Again, they're another one of those plants that requires a lot of heat. So we're doing the best we can. Um, kale, put in some nice kale here. And spinach, which is almost ready to eat, although the rabbits have already been dining. Beets, lots of beets. This is going to be good. We're going to uh, juice some, pickle some, have some fun with some. And there's our lettuce patch. Oh my goodness, we got lots of lettuce. Harvested a bunch for some friends last night. So it's looking good. We got a, a lone broccoli plant. And here, I, I I don't know what to put in here. I'm not sure. Jalapeno peppers. Jalapeno peppers? Okay, honey. Cheap. Yeah. And so we got romaine lettuce over here in this far section. It's not quite ready yet. We have some radishes, which some of them were ready yesterday, although they're kind of bunched and a little bit close, but you can't eat the leaves of these plants. A little spicy, but they're nice. The look-see over the garden of peach trees this year. No peaches. I gotta do a little bit more study on them. I know I'm slightly outside of the range of peaches, but uh, I have had peaches on this tree. This one here I have not had peaches on. The leaves are yellow every year. I believe that's because the soil's too wet where it is. But it's hanging in there and it continues to grow, so if nothing else, it'll be a beautiful shade tree. I like to look on the bright side of things. Okay, we'll bring you over here to the Roma Garden and the, uh, sal the Salsa Garden, I like to call it. It was the Eye Garden last year, if you guys recognized it. So, you know, Romas have really taken off. Got a late start this year with them. I didn't really plant them until about April 1st, which, when it comes to tomatoes, you kind of want to get a head start on them a little bit. A little bit better than what I did. But, uh, they seem to be, uh, picking up and growing so there's no real issues here big old onions back there okay I'll take you over to the uh, raspberries these are rogue ones that are just growing wild we didn't put them in here but we sure as heck are leaving them in here black raspberries 
No, if you notice, there's no berries on this side. However, well, not many, anyway. Then over here, we have lots. So we're going to have a nice little feast. And over here, I believe, ooh, sorry, it's about tripped on the hose. Some more black raspberries or raspberries, I'm not really sure. I guess time will tell. And then we'll get all this straight. So I want to take you over, if you guys don't mind, I want to take you over and show you the strawberries that uh, we've been uh, trying to uh, propagate. And cucumbers, of course, and peppers. That's the other part of the... Um, okay, here we go with the peppers. You can see that little gem there. Looking pretty good. One over here. That one's nice. I'm going to back the camera off a little bit because the next one's a little bit bigger. That's one that's been the most successful. And then this one, and you might see here we have some cucumbers. Now these are the pickling kind, like for dills, because we're gonna we're gonna make some dill pickles this year. And unfortunately, we didn't really plant any dills, so one of the things we're going to do is buy. And my wife has picked two beautiful strawberries. They are beautiful, honey. Want me to hold them? <laughs> oh no, trust me. <laughs> so there is what we've grown from our garden. And there's more in there. You might be able to see that one there. Not quite ready. No, not quite ready, but it's in there. So, whoop. Mmm. Mmm. Nice job. That is awesome. So anyway, there's a little update. I didn't show you the state of the pears. This tree is dead. I don't exactly know what happened. But it is certifiably, certifiably dead. So we're going to leave it up for the rest of this year for the bird feeders and uh, probably take it down later on. The Bartlett seems to be okay. No real issues. So everything looks good there. This tree has not been affected whatsoever by whatever the heck that was. So looking at that one there, it looks pretty good. So that's the update for today, everyone. I uh, want to thank you for stopping by and um, look forward to seeing you guys soon. Um, thank you also for all the gardening tips and the comments that you've been giving me. I have been using them, experimenting, not just with plants and, and things, but I've also been uh, made some more homemade uh, laundry soap and some other fun things. That's one thing about the YouTube neighborhood there, you get to learn all kinds of nice things and meet some really nice people. Again, thank you very much. I'm getting long-winded. <laughs> Have a good night, everyone. Rob out.